I just want to get a picture of where it's at now. So I just okay, on, on the light. Okay, recording, recording. Okay, we're good. So, Peter, if you can keep an eye on your iPhone that he's in the middle of it, that would be handy. So just to continue on the highlights, you want to bring the the throat highlight on the Adam's apple here a bit a bit on the neck muscle. You you don't wanna do you don't wanna do the whole neck muscle. Okay, keep it dry. Then again not the whole uh, initial highlight, just a bit. There, there and maybe there. So the, my style is actually very organic. I don't, I'm not like, you know, this rule, that rule kind of thing. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to get you in, hold on. <laughs> yeah, but then he's not looking at the face. Who's that speaking? Make the crazy stuff. Oh no. You're live. Are you are you back at home or are you in in U in U A U Ukraine. Ukraine or what? <laughs> He's in Kuwait. All right. We have your audio turned down to seem like we're recording this, so we can edit it after. Okay. So now we're doing the fingers again. You want to? So you'll see that as I go on, the the touch is lighter and lighter. And if you look at your own fingers, the the knuckles actually are in highlight. Eh? So you you kind of build a highlight towards the knuckle. And you know, if your figure has this kind of structure, it's nice to kind of highlight it because it kind of gives your figure a bit of character. Otherwise, you know, your, your forearms end up looking like one long tube <laughs> or a long rod. So a bit here and a bit here also. Yeah, so don't waste the the, the sculptor's uh, you know because the sculptor did do a lot of work in creating these things. Huh? So you see like the sculptor was trying to, to show this muscle then yeah by all means paint it. So that's kind of take a look uh, down if this goes like that. So just, yeah, that looks better. Okay, so this is where we are now at this stage. Um, next stage is going to be a. Uh, oh, wait, did I do the eyes? Oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to do the eyes now. Okay, for the eyes, at least the first eye, you want to actually grab the top and bottom eyelid. And your brush needs to be quite dry, so it's almost like a dry brushing. Eh? There. And there. That's all you want to do. Don't do more than that. Because you'll end up with a blob of paint. So again, there. And there. So that's all you want to do for the eye. Don't do more than that. So this is the second to last highlight. Now in your last highlight, you can either use a straight flash. You can either use straight flash or uh, uh, this uh, base color flash with the with, uh, the flash highlight but I usually just use straight flash because actually at this stage it's just going to be dots uh. I'm just going to dot everything so by dotting this is what I mean eh? so no strokes just like dots you may not even feel that like you touched the you may not even feel that like you even touched it eh? And uh, 
this high highlight is only on the tops huh? you don't you don't put it in the shadow areas and all that so it's just like that you don't do more than that and then when it comes to the tendons you may want to emphasize the tendons like that so it's just for the tops huh? so you want to highlight knuckles and things like that you'll use the same highlight color later on for the for the uh, fingernails so yeah it's worthwhile painting fingernails in this scale it's quite obvious in, when you do it so I'm just kind of gliding it's like very big here and there here and there just create some visual interest Not don't need to do uh, like a lot okay so that's the final highlight okay so this is where you are so th at this stage so we went from uh, three shadows up then to three highlights up so from there we're gonna go from first highlight down to mid tone okay so this is just midway This next step, uh, what you need is a fairly largish brush. So this looks like a, I don't know what it is. This is number two, is it? I don't know, this looks like a number one or number two, or number four actually, okay. Now the idea behind this next step is to blend your, what you've done so far up to this point. Then from there, you're going to pick up highlights and go downwards. So I'll show you what I mean. So it's already dry now. You see this, right? So get a visual image of this. You're going to take... Uh, you're going to take... Okay, so you're going to take the uh, flesh color, which is your basic flesh, whatever your flesh was, okay? Doesn't matter really what what you use, but you're going to get your flesh color and you're going to make it actually quite dilute. Now the question is how dilute? You want to create a, a, a what's this thing called? A glaze. Huh? Okay, just to give you an idea, how do I do this? Okay. Okay, I'll give you an idea. Okay, so for me, this is... Uh, if you put this onto a napkin, right? Over the bit, over the bit. Over the bit. Yeah, over the black, there you go. So this, you can see coverage there. This is called base coat. Okay, this is called base coat. Uh, perhaps... This is dry brush, okay? Uh, this is base coat, no this is base coat uh, texture, this is dry brush texture. Uh, no, in fact this is layer texture. Then if you go one level up, I would say this is base coat. And if you go one more level, this is actually glaze. Can you see? So you are going to use this and if you talk about wash, uh, wash looks like this. This is wash. Okay. So you are going from dry brush to layer to base coat to glaze to wash. Now we are going to use this this consistency, which is uh, glaze. Huh? Where am I going? So again, I'll show you. Huh? This is glaze.
So this part is actually kind of important to get the right consistency because if you get the wrong consistency, you'll just undo whatever you've already just done. Okay, great. Now what you're gonna do is, whatever you've done in the past, you're now going to uh, cover over. Huh? So don't worry about details at this stage, not important. Huh? So you just go like that. And like that. So yeah, what you want to do is just cover over First, it looks like very alarming because it looks like you're going to undo everything but actually acrylic has a transparent effect so by the time you finish you'll see it just forms a nice uh, see-through layer you don't need to use all those special things like transpirator and all those things the transpirator and those kinds of media and all are really just the same yeah. So ordinarily, I, I have a hair dryer to speed this step up, but today I didn't have a hair dryer. Uh -huh. Yeah, so here we have to wait for it to dry. 